what's up y'all it's your girl toya the master esthetician here in the dmv area what's up if you're new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below like right now today 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 we're gonna talk about solo sd why you should do it don't work for nobody else yeah Today, I'm going to go over five tips on how to start your esthetician business. So I have my handy dandy laptop right here that I took my notes on just to make sure I'm not missing nothing. So if y'all if y'all see me looking down, that's where I'm looking at. Okay. <laughs> All right. So my first five tips to getting started, y'all already know, legalize your business. I don't care if you make it $2, $3. Do not wait until you make that $600 cap where they're like, oh, you need to um start like, you know, making sure your business is registered. Just do it in the beginning. Even if you make it $0, just do it. Um, So y'all you already know, get the LLC, do your EIN number, which is free. Um, Also do your trademark. I really wish that I did my trademark earlier because... I'm going through this no name thing right now. But yeah, definitely trademark if you can. If you can't, I get it because it's hella expensive. So definitely try to do that and just try to do all your legalization for your business ahead of time and get your logo made. So once you get that logo made, definitely try to trademark that too and just make sure that name is yours and not like in your area, worldwide. There's there's also websites, y'all, that you can look at to see if your name is taken. Um, if it's trademark, you can actually go to the patent website, patent trademark website and check if the name is available. So yeah, definitely check all over, even Google. Like you can Google a name and see if it's taken. So yeah, y'all definitely trademark that name and legalize that business for me when i did that i actually went through legal zoom i know a lot of people don't like to go through legal zoom but i was lazy because i actually overspend like legal zoom definitely charged a good like 700 dollars, y'all to do it when the ein number is free but i just wanted like the resident and like the agent that they got that they really file everything correctly so yeah, I went through legal zoom, but I know I'm gonna have some haters. It's like nah. I know I have some people who really didn't really care to have legal zoom do it. They just did it themselves and went on their county website, state gov website, and actually did it yourself. You can always do that option. But of course, if you don't want to, like me, catch your legal zoom. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, so after that, once you have your name set up and everything, create your booking site. So for me, I used Acuity in the beginning. I loved Acuity. Um, if I could use it to this day, I would. I love how the system is set up. The clients can get texts when it's their appointment. They can get reminders and it integrates with Square. So it's like perfect. And I love Square. But at the moment now, as I started to grow, I ended up doing Vagaro. Um, for me personally, I feel like Vagaro, like booking site is so lit <laughs> because like I don't have to track like loyalty points like I would with Acuity. Like with Acuity, I would have to have like little loyalty cards to get to my clients. Um, with Acuity, they didn't have email marketing at first, but now they do. So they stepping up. But Vagaro had all of that. Like, you can even have a website with Vagaro. So I know Acuity has that too, because you can like mix it with Squarespace. So Acuity and Square are like combining together or whatever, but they didn't have that back in the day. <laughs> but to save you some money, definitely get um, Acuity because it's only like $15 a month. But Vagaro, you, you paying a little chump change. <laughs> but Vagaro is so nice, y'all. Like, I, I definitely love Vagaro and I would definitely vouch for it. It's amazing. And it also tells your clients like, hey, uh, such and such is ready for their appointment. Like you can literally let your client know, like, I'm ready. I'm not texting you to let you know ready, but you're going to get this text message saying, I'm ready for your appointment. So that's why I like Begaro. Get Begaro if you can. Um, it's a great system. Okay, so the third option will be <clears throat> find a location. Um, I know some people can work home base, which is cool. Like you can always work home base if you want to. If you don't care to have individuals in your house and stuff like that, you're good to go. But for me personally, I didn't want that. <laughs> so I ended up not being home based after a while. I did in the beginning to get models. But after a while, I started to look into suites. My suite that I first got was next to a college campus. And my second suite that I'm in now is also close to a college campus, which I love. 
Um, I had a lot of student-based clients at first. Like I was gearing towards students a lot. So it was great for my target audience. But now that I'm starting to grow and I want to become like a medical spa, I feel like I want to get out of that. <laughs> I want to get out of that area and kind of go to more like areas where, you know, there's like older people my age bracket or like older people are there in different locations. So that's what I, I kind of want to do. Like I want to end up going to a more different area not a college town and kind of look for a different target audience and kind of know your clientele so if you're starting out and you already know what type of clients you want to like get or gear to or who your target audience is find that location <laughs> find that location whether it's in like expensive area or college campus town or near your house kind of find that area that you want to niche in and put your suite there so do that also there's a lot of like companies that have a lot of like co-working spaces or like there's a no oh, share space you can also rent out booth rentals and people's locations so if you don't want to like get that commitment of having that suite that rent that you have to pay you can definitely look at share 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 something like that let me make sure is this like share it's called share share so that's what it's called and put out the screen right here share share so Basically, it's a lot of salon owners that have rooms in their suites that they let like people rent out for the day, for the week or whatever you want to do. So it could be cost effective if you want to do it that way. Um, or I would say. After finding your location market. So this is where you're going to figure out what platforms you want to be on. You can be on TikTok. You can be on Facebook. You can be on Instagram, you know, kind of find out like where you want to market at and how you want to market. So once you already found your target audience and your location, now you're like, okay, what deals can I put out there? Like y'all, for example, I had students. I had a lot of students clientele for like when I first started being an SD and had my suite. So I would do like little like student deals, like yeah, get five dollars off for students or like monthly packages for students. I would even have like pamper me Wednesday Wednesdays with students, like because I know like finals are coming up and they just want to be pampered after. So I would make like, oh, let's do college edition wax uh Tuesday or something like that, y'all. Like you gotta make it fun, catchy, and market. So once you market and like you can also promote on Facebook. F Facebook is a good promotion website where you can also like do ads there and it does ads on Instagram and Facebook. So you're not just like your ads are not just at one location so definitely check them out but make sure your market and market properly so make sure you actually use like apps like preview or panely where you're actually writing out or like setting up how you're going to do your videos the schedule of your videos i know it sucks <laughs> you literally have seven jobs seven jobs <laughs> But until you can get that revenue to like hire on people, you're literally doing all this by yourself. So to alleviate all that stress of you figuring out like what to post every day, just do like batch content. Like I would record like on Sundays and record so much and be like, look, I got about seven videos <laughs> this Sunday and another week I have this many videos. Um, Definitely do that so you're not like burnt out. And lastly, y'all, collaboration. So lastly, um, definitely collaboration. I know it's hard when you're new and a lot of people don't want to really collab with you because you're new, but still get your foot out there. Start collabing with other SDs or cosmetologists even and like networking, like go to events, even events that are like woman empowered or if you're a guy, like some guy events where there's like barbers there or, you know, guys who are going to want services like that. So definitely go network and collab for me collaboration was a big thing if you guys follow me on instagram and youtube you will see all of the collaboration events that i did that was like my biggest money maker um that's how i grew and made money so fast because i would like collab with different brands i would collab with different sds so that was like really great um so collaboration i always vouch collaboration over competition any day but make sure you're collabing with the right people Try to like work with people that you were probably in school with, um, go to networking events, 
even reach out to brands. They will love to have you on their team. They will love for you to educate others on their products because both of you guys win-win in the situation. So don't forget, collaboration over competition is really important. So these are like your five starter kit. If you guys want me to show you guys like all the equipment I used when I first started, because you really don't need a lot, I can definitely make a video of how like you should start like what you need, like the essentials, what you need to start a solo SD business. So drop that down below and I'll definitely leave an Amazon link for y'all if y'all want that video and all the resources you need in order to start that solo business. So love you guys. Thank you guys for always supporting me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Don't forget to like and watch the video through. <laughs> all right, love you guys.